Hey there, Willowbrook. My name is Bobby Ann Allen, and I am excited that you are doing the Daily Devo with us. Today, we are in Genesis chapter 24. Now, the story we find in Genesis chapter 24 is a somewhat unusual story, especially if you try to take the cultural norms of the time in which we're reading and place them into our Western culture. You see, what's happening here is that Abraham, who God has been dealing with, who God has promised to be the father of a great nation, has a 40-year-old son that needs a wife. And so instead of his son Isaac finding a wife for himself, Abraham takes matters in his own hands, gets a servant, Eleazar, and says, Eleazar, I want you to go back to our home country, the one we came from, and I want you to find a wife for my son Isaac. Well, no, if we just read this, we may not realize that that's not as simple as it sounds. You see, even in a time where fathers would give their daughters as wives to other men, it still was a bit unusual for a stranger to come up and say, I need your daughter, I'm gonna take her to a different country and I'm going to make her the wife of my master's son. Well, not every father, in fact, lots of fathers would be like, mm, I don't think so. But Abraham told Eleazar these words in verse 40. He said, the Lord before whom I have walked will send his angel with you and make your journey a success. As I considered what this meant for us, application-wise, I realized that there are assignments that God has called us to that when we look at it, we're like, that's too big. There's too many obstacles. The likelihood of that happening isn't good. And, and we can argue with God. We can hesitate in our obedience because the whole thing just looks unlikely. But Eleazar went and he obeyed and he, he trusted his master that God was sending someone ahead of him. And sure enough, it played out just as his master Abraham had said. And the verse I want us to really zero in on today is verse 48. Because when things did work out, when, when Eleazar obeyed and then God came through, Eleazar didn't get puffed up like, look what I did. It, it actually worked. This is what he said in verse 48. He says, then I bow down, worship the Lord, and praise the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who guided me on the right way to take the granddaughter of my master's brother for his son. You see, Eleazar stopped. He didn't take credit for what happened. He acknowledged that God had called him somewhere. God followed through. And then he acknowledged that God was the one who did it. He gave God the glory. I, I, I want us to be careful to make sure as we're in our own relationship with God, as we confront circumstances and situations that might seem scary, that may be, seem bigger than us, Sometimes we can be pretty proud of ourselves for saying yes to God and obeying. And then when God comes through, we take credit for our obedience instead of turning around and giving God the credit for what he's done because God has gone before you. When God calls you to something, he is way ahead of you. He has a plan and he expects and he deserves our praise and our glory. I hope that you'll take that, recognizing that there may be some areas in, in your life where God deserves the credit and you haven't given it to him. Do that today and then have a happy Wednesday.